Hello Aquarians and cross watchers, whoever is here watching the video today. So today we are doing our afternoon quickie little tarot reading and it's designed to be under 20 minutes. But first I want to tell you guys that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here, for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you and thank you, thank you so much for being here. So I don't know what's going to come out. We're just going to kind of see what wants to come out here for the afternoon reading. Show me what I need to see. Hope you guys are having a great day, evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you happen to be watching this. Show me what I need to see here. What's going on? Oh boy, we got go to the sea and I think I see home. Well, we have TikTok and this talks about time, time in general, a matter of time before things uh, change or happen or there is no time so timeless even so let's just see what wants to come out when we get into the tarot but we have no place like home and go to the sea I feel like somebody is missing home quite honestly um, or maybe someone's thinking about going to a new place um, that's where the tarot is going to come in handy we have 50 with the house which you might be seeing fives okay and some people might be seeing zeros zeros if you see a lot of zeros for me that's like a reset even like the full card and then we have number seven which is linked to the chariot and this person is literally in a vessel so i feel like um this could be you this could be external to you you know how this goes if somebody because i kept getting the five of crystals in the reverse and i see it again in the reverse right now um, I do feel like somebody wants to make peace. For me, five of crystals on the reverse, it's somebody wanting to make peace. And it's I see two of cups here in the hangman. Uh, somebody, I really feel somebody wants to be on better terms, make up with you, make peace with you. This could be anybody so far. Give me nine cards for this reading, please. We have woman of wands, okay. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. And may have to do with speaking to somebody who is in that energy as well. Because I saw the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. And I have the Nine of Wands and Eight of Crystals. Somebody with strong fire energy here could be thinking about you. All right. Um, because I do have the Nine of Wands and the Woman of Wands right there. And then the Eight of Crystals. So that's a lot of thought right here. And then we have the Child of Crystals. So there might be a fire sign who's curious about you. Doesn't necessarily have to be. They could just be in the fire energy. Plus we all have everything in our chart, okay? Um, I'm an Aquarius, but I have Leo, Taurus, Pisces. Um, I have just about everything in my chart, but not too much Scorpio or Virgo. So we have Devil's Play at the Heart of Things, and this is Capricorn Energy. It's also the only major arcana out so far, and we have the Six of Worlds. I feel like somebody's really just dying to reach out here, honestly. Um, really thinking of you. I don't know who this could be. Somebody, I feel like somebody's really thinking of you. I'm even drawn to the figure in this card where... And it's called censor, but there's just a person who has their eyes closed right here. Just like, looks like they're thinking. I definitely feel someone's deep, deep, deep in thought. Could be a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. But we have this Seven of Crystals. And it says dullness. And as I literally picked up this card, I heard life isn't the same without you. On the bottom, we have the Emperor. This is strong Aries energy, I'm not going to lie, because the Woman of Wands literally stands for Aries, and the Emperor literally stands for Aries. But now we have two major Arcana players, which are Capricorn and Aries, so someone could have that in their chart. Okay, but we also have Leo and Sag with that Woman of Wands. Ace of Wands is on the bottom and Ten of Cups. Okay, somebody really wants this with you. You are home to someone. You are family to someone. Now, um, maybe some of you have even uh, a fire sign coming into your life, into your family, either through, you know, like um, an extended family member, a new addition to the family, or something like this. But it's very fortunate. We have... You know, 
wh whoever this person is is going to be in your life for a very long time all right at least for a good while because i have the nine of worlds the ten of worlds and fortune this and sun and there's the leo energy so whoever this whoever this person is entering into your life for whoever this resonates with because this is a general reading somebody's coming into your life for quite a long time and it's the emperor they are in an you know an emperor type energy strong aries energy strong leo energy but i also have scorpio energy scorpio cancer pisces i see the man of cups somebody's in love but somebody could also this could be somebody who's going to be um have water in their chart or you do but it also could be you know for me it can be a long time person a spouse um or a very loving and kind person who's going to be in your life for for many many years to come tell me about the woman of wands ace of swords yeah and the lovers nine of swords reverse you know whoever this is it's a close connection no need to worry um and i do know that if like if this is a person let's say your children are older you have somebody um getting um you have a, a fire sign or it doesn't matter you know because i i feel like too some this can relate to you but it also can might even relate to um an addition coming into the family like you know when marriages happen and um new people enter whatever this is for whoever this resonates with this is a person who's going to be in your life for for quite a while whether they're literally in your life you and this person or if they're an addition to the family become a son-in-law daughter-in-law mother-in-law father-in-law they're definitely going to be there for a while um and i think that whoever this is like either you have your mind made up about this person or you feel this person is a very honest person um because i just have the ace of swords and i have judgment here and i just feel like you know you know this person um it's, it's just very clear for you about this person tell me about the nine of wands i feel like that's almost there five of wands reverse you know if you're dating somebody um again if you're dating somebody it does you don't have to be any of these signs but this can be somebody getting clarity and realizing i'm you know i just want to be with this person i don't want to date i know that this is my person i don't need to look around anymore and that's the strong vibe that i got here for whoever this is for somebody can't stop thinking eight of crystals someone can't stop thinking about you or you can't stop thinking about somebody but yeah i think someone can't stop thinking about you aquarius is in the reverse king of swords is in the reverse with the three of pentacles in the upright this might be somebody that you work with or used to work with might be somebody in your community the three of pentacles can talk about a place an establishment a community a, a, a complex okay apartments condos anything like that you know small community or a town and um you know this this if anybody has suffered a heartache okay with the three of swords here because it looks like you know aquarius if you've suffered a heartache it just seems like this person is going to brighten your day because i have aquarius in the reverse i have the three of swords in the upright and i have the three of pentacles this person is going to brighten your day and they're going to be in your life for quite a while now you might meet this person or this person could come in after some sort of tower for you or for them because i do have there's some sort of clarity here okay that comes after a tower so it's like some some major event and then somebody realizes you know they make a decision or they realize who they want to be with or they just realize they don't want to lose somebody it's almost like let's say you're dating somebody and you know but it's not serious you don't know if it's going anywhere and then somebody has the opportunity to move maybe it's for work even sometimes the emperor and the three of pentacles can talk about work if someone had to relocate for work 
and then the other person didn't want you to go or vice versa this is only an analogy it's like saying well oh my god I'm gonna lose my person it sort of puts things into perspective for somebody because somebody realizes they don't want to lose the other person somebody realizes you know there's no place like home and I have channeled that you're home for somebody. Tell me about the child of crystals. And I, I would not be surprised if I don't channel more of this just because of the Pluto energy and all the things happening in the environment and the eclipses and all this. Um, we do have the hangman clarifying that. And that is Pisces energy. And it's somebody who is deep in thought. Deep in thought. Trying to figure this out really being guided i feel to say speak up say something say how they feel and like i said i've been channeling this somebody's really guided and it's the emperor the emperor is sitting here trying to make a decision literally justice in the upright two of swords reverse the emperor is literally trying to make a decision now this is a person who wants to make peace though so you know this person or this is a person who wants to get out of their mind if this is somebody you work with or somebody in your community and there's no issues about making peace this is somebody who wants to get out of their head and finally just like physically move toward you because that can also mean that for me tell me about the six of worlds i feel more than anything they want to get out of their head and move toward you honestly because I don't have a ten of swords guys and if there was a betrayal I would see a ten of swords but I do see a three of swords and that's what and you know that three of swords is like this energy right here so I think somebody's missing you so I don't know like maybe you guys even used to work together hang out live in the same community and it's like they don't see you they just don't see you so far I you know I don't have any return cards so it's not showing that it's an ex but it's showing somebody who does miss you and so you guys could have worked together went to school together hung out together and like I say if this is not you if it's someone related to you like you could have an addition coming in as a son-in-law daughter-in-law or just somebody coming in you know dating you or your kids it could be like someone coming in but they're going to be there for a while seven of crystals yes i feel like somebody um somebody honestly doesn't know what to do here somebody does not know what to do somebody wants to speak up but they don't know how to do it give me another card for that someone is literally sitting back trying to plan this and I feel it's their move toward you. I feel like they're really trying to plan their move to you. And they just don't know what to do. It's like someone is trying to find guidance. is sort of lost. Someone is even being shown the way. And they're just lost. And the way is to Aquarius. Now if it's you. And you're looking for guidance. And feeling a little bit lost in this situation. Especially with work. I would say if you're feeling that way. It might have to do with work. Which way to go with work. But I just keep seeing another person who's coming in for the long haul. There is a person. And, and like I said, some of you might be moving and someone's going to miss you. Or vice versa. Someone's got to move away and they're going to miss you. And it's got somebody rethinking things here. Tell me about the emperor. Okay, that fell. But I did see it's the ace of wands, I think. Maybe the page. Okay, no ace. All right, so... The emperor is going to make a move. That's the best thing I could tell you. The emperor is going to make a move. And the emperor can be Aries, divine masculine. Um, it could be this person that uh, you work with or used to. It could be a boss even. But somebody, I'm telling you, someone's about to make a move. We have Leo on the bottom, which is king of wands. But king of wands is like, I'm ready to make a move. Because I want this person to be my forever person. Okay? Queen of Pentacles is the forever person. And someone is literally about to make a move because they feel like they're going to lose the other person. Now, these literal signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries, Leo, Sag. I also have Gemini here with the lovers. 
I have your energy here, Aquarius. But what I want you to realize is I'm reading the energy, and the energy is saying, look, I better make a move before I lose my person. That's what the energy is saying. Every single one of us can embody um, can embody this energy here. We can embody any card here, all right? Tell me about the two of worlds. Somebody better speak up. Somebody better speak up. Yeah, six of swords. If things are going to get better, somebody better speak up. Somebody has not communicated their feelings and their emotions to the empress. The empress is divine feminine, the mother, the nurturer, okay? It's showing up in the reverse, so I do feel divine feminine is Aquarius because Aquarius is in reverse and and the empress is in reverse. Now, I do feel for some of you, it's a kid wanting to return home. Um to the mother tell me about the man of cups strong scorpio i did see it here somebody's emotional about this uh, because i did see man of cups reverse and i see man of cups upright someone is emotional about the queen of cups reverse so for some of you this this is a kid this is a family member this is a ten of pentacles and a page of pentacles this is a kid who left the nest <laughs> for some of you it's a kid who left the nest and i don't have the hierophant but if somebody left had to move had to leave location for job or work or anything like that there can be some of some of you your kids um are homesick maybe some of you are homesick for your kids like if they freshly left the nest and they're doing their thing they moved out of the house or homesick but for a lot of you this is a person who is just homesick for you um like i said if you have older kids or something like that and they're getting into a new relationship um this person is going to be in your life for quite a while and somebody could be homesick for the other person you know like if uh leaving the nest is what i feel but also i feel i don't see return cards but you know this person if someone's homesick for you you worked with this person lived in the same community or you know possibly went to school but i don't see the hierophant but definitely you had some interaction with this person and it, they miss you a lot of messages here so let's close out with an oracle card i might start doing extendeds for these quickie readings because you see i can't get all the details unless i make the reading longer i might start doing extendeds for readings like this for those who want to know and i will clarify the cards even more we have here last quarter moon in sagittarius and it says practice gratitude so I feel something is coming in toward you. Somebody does miss you. Um, somebody does think of you as home. So it's a matter of time before you see this person. Anyway, guys, I love you. See you in the next reading. And namaste, my friends.